I think myself lucky often when I sail and see the city by the bay from a viewpoint that very few from this town have seen. Nothing beats the summer mornings though, when a fresh steady breeze fills in from the mouth of the bay and the sun keeps you just warm enough to enjoy the day. However, these are optimal sailing conditions, and if I've learned anything from my experience out on the water, it is to remain vigilant to unforecasted events. Hurricane Sandy struck Perth Amboy would have forced many of us underestimated. Things were swept away, places were flooded, the tide simply rose. However, a bigger issue my family faced was the lack of information. As the first generation in my family, it is my responsibility to not only translate into Spanish information given to us. During Hurricane Sandy, I felt responsible to get information to prepare ourselves before the storm. It raised serious questions for me. Does your primary language dictate the amount of information you are eligible for during times of crisis? And did other people feel the same constraints during the storm? If this is the case, then how can we prepare for another event like Sandy? What was the medium of communication in which you found out? Um, I found out through, obviously, social media like Facebook. I also found out from news forecasts and from teachers speaking about it and, you know, neighbors. Well, for most students here, uh, we're first generation kids and our parents don't know how to speak English and they're not familiar with um, social media either. So you talk a little bit about your mom, about how, um, how did she get her information about the storm? Did she get it directly from you? Or did she also get it from somewhere else? Well, I'd say about half and half. Um, of course, um, she talks to her friends and neighbors a bit occasionally about what was going to go on beforehand. Um, so she had an idea, and I would also feed her some information as to what I would um, read off of Wolf Adidas website on my page thing. Uh, have you heard of Nixo? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Okay, well, Nixo is a program in Pertamboy that kind of distributes information through text. Seeing that you know you're a student and you're very much in touch with uh, social media, uh, yeah. do you, you never heard of it? Never heard of them at all. Okay. Have you guys heard of Nixo? Yeah. No, you have. It's, it's uh, so you have it. You go on the, for example, website, you click on it, you put in your phone number, your name, and it sends you updates on what's going on. Part of the Nexel system is it is capable of, of translating to different languages. When you sign up, you sign up what your uh, language you're comfortable speaking in. So when you, we send it out, we send it out in English, and then whatever you signed up for, the particular language that you, you speak, it will convert it for you. It's on our city website um, to be able to sign up for that, and you can get that information gets pushed out. We regularly put out updates where we're at, what's happening with the storm, if you need anything, the phone numbers to contact. Well, the Department of Recreation, we were kind of like the messengers of the whole event. Do you know where the rec department got their information from? Uh, any sources? Yes, they actually got their, um, their information from the EOM, which stands for the Office of Emergency Management, and they're located in the first floor of the police department. The Recreation Department as a whole, we just service um, bilingual residents every day, so it, it was essential for us to communicate um, all that information, both in English and Spanish. It's critical that you provide the, whatever the need of communication is, you know, in writing and, you know, audio, both, that they're correct. So if you dial a number that the information that you're getting is, is correct and people understand it, we have to provide so that everyone's served because everyone's paying taxes here, and everyone's being part of, the, of this great state. It's the most diverse state. You know, the greatest thing about New Jersey is the most diverse state in the nation. So if we're going to welcome that and embrace that, we have to recognize that there are language barriers that have to be taken down.